Hey everyone, welcome back to Bioschool. Today we are going to learn about another type of gene interaction that is inhibitory gene interaction or it is also known as dominant recessive gene interaction. So let's begin. Why it is called as inhibitory gene interaction? Let's understand that one first. Then I will explain why it is also called as dominant recessive gene interaction. Let's say there is a gene 1. We will take it as a A and gene 2 will take as B. So, the gene 1 has its own phenotypic effect. Okay. For example, the gene 1, it produces purple color leaf in rice in dominant form. And here the gene 2, we take it as a B. It does not have any phenotypic effect but when but when dominant allele of gene 2 is present then it inhibits the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 gene 2 it does not have any phenotypic effect but when the gene 2 present along with the gene 1 then the dominant allele of gene 2 it will inhibit the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 so let's understand the dominant form of gene a it produce purple leaf color in rice and the recessive allele of gene 1 it produces green leaf color okay here we are talking about the gene 1 but gene 2 alleles they do not have their own phenotypic effect but when the dominant allele of gene 2 present with dominant allele of gene 1 at that time the dominant allele of gene 2 it inhibits the expression of dominant allele of gene 1. So, here the dominant allele of gene 1 it produces the purple leaf in rice, but here the dominant allele of gene 2 it inhibits the expression and this one it will result in green color leaf. Now, understand why it is called as inhibitory gene interaction because one gene inhibits the expression of another gene that's why it is called as inhibitory gene interaction so here which one is inhibitory gene gene 2 is the inhibitory gene yes the one gene it inhibits the expression of other gene that's why it is called as inhibitory gene interaction so, why it is called as dominant recessive gene interaction? I will tell you at the end of this session. Okay. So, we have to find out the phenotypic ratio of inhibitory gene interaction. Right. So, inhibitory gene interaction, it is also a type of non-allelic gene interaction. It is a type of non-allelic gene interaction. Non-allelic gene interaction means, obviously, it will lead to the deviation of f2 dihybrid phenotypic ratio that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 right we will see later so let's take the example and here we are taking the example as leaf color in rice that the two genes gene 1 gene 2 gene 1 it has own phenotypic effect so it will show the leaf color that the two leaf colors are present one is purple and other one is green okay so here the purple is dominant one purple is dominant one and purple color we are represented by capital p and the green is recessive so we will represent it by small p got it and gene 2 gene 2 is inhibitory gene right it's inhibitory 
and it does not have its own phenotype so the dominant allele of gene 2 is inhibitory and it will inhibit the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 okay but it does not okay recessive form of gene 2 it does not inhibit the expression of gene 1 only the dominant allele of gene 2 will inhibit the dominant allele of gene 1 remember this one is important the dominant allele of gene 2 will inhibit the dominant allele of gene 1 okay so let's do the cross as here the recessive allele of gene 2 is present so it cannot mask the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 so it will result in purple color flower and uh, here the dominant allele of gene 2 which is inhibitory but it cannot inhibit uh, the recessive form of recessive allele of gene 1 so the recessive allele of gene 1 it will express this phenotype that phenotype that is a uh, green color and in f1 generation what we will get we will get capital p small p capital i and small i so this is in f1 generation see here the gene 2 it is present in dominant form this one is also in dominant form so gene 2 it will inhibit or mask the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 so it will result in green color okay let's self cross and find out the ratio in f2 generation okay so this is the progeny of f2 generation in inhibitory gene it is the dominant allele inhibitory gene is the dominant allele of gene 2 okay so the first find out where the dominant allele of gene 2 is present here the dominant allele of okay let me mark here the dominant allele of gene 2 is present if the dominant allele of gene 2 present then it will mask the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 which is produce purple color it will mask you similarly find where the dominant allele of gene 2 is present here also dominant allele of gene 2 present here also here okay in all this condition the dominant allele of gene 2 is present okay now we have to look at where the dominant allele of gene 2 is present is there dominant allele of gene 1 is present if dominant allele of gene 1 is present then that then the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 will be inhibited okay let's find out here the dominant allele of gene 1 is present so is purple color it will be masked and it will result in green color here also the dominant allele of gene 1 is present so it will also result in green color similarly here it will also result in green color here also green color here also green this one will also result in green this is green this is green here though the dominant form of gene dominant allele of gene 2 or inhibitory is present but this one it cannot mask the expression of recessive allele of gene 1 and the recessive allele of gene 1 it will produce produce the green color here also you will get green color look at here here also the recessive form of recessive allele of gene 1 is present so it cannot mask and it will express its own color that is green similarly here also green color here also the recessive allele of both the gene are present that will also result in green color and look at here here the recessive allele of gene 2 is present which have no inhibitory effect on dominant allele of gene 1 so it will result in purple color here also the recessive allele of gene 2 is present so 
it cannot mask the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 so it will result in purple color here also it will produce purple color because the recessive allele of gene 1 it cannot mask the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 and result in purple color so let's write down how many green color and how many purple color we find here the green color is 13 and purple color is only 3 so if you will get a question what is the phenotypic ratio of inhibitory gene interaction then is 13 is to 3 okay so now why it is called as dominant recessive gene interaction because the dominant allele of one gene let's say here in example the dominant allele of gene 1 is capital p capital p or capital p small p and the recessive allele of another gene gene 2 that is small i small i they when they interact the dominant allele of one gene when interact with the recessive allele of other gene they produce similar type of phenotype let's say capital p capital p small i small i or capital p small p small i small i they produce the similar phenotype what will be its phenotype it will be the purple purple color okay because the recessive form of gene 2 it cannot inhibit the expression of dominant allele of gene 1 so the dominant allele of gene 1 it will express its color that is the purple color okay let's take the other example let's take the recessive allele of gene 1 okay recessive of allele of gene 1 that is a small p small p okay with dominant allele of gene 1 dominant of allele of gene 1 is capital i capital i or it may be capital i small i so here what you will get small p small p capital i capital i or small p small p capital i small i so here what will be the phenotype the phenotype type will be green color because the dominant form of gene 2 it cannot suppress the recessive allele of gene 1 so it will result in green color the dominant alleles of one gene and the recessive allele of other gene okay here also the dominant allele of one gene and the recessive allele of other gene they produce similar type of phenotype okay that's why it is called as dominant recessive gene interaction so the phenotypic ratio for dominant recessive gene interaction or the phenotypic ratio of inhibitory gene interaction is same that is 13 is to 3 hope this video will help you a lot if you like this video then please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel